Now, like I said, the civil society organizations, the CSOs, have uh, expressed their displeasure over the continued detention of NBAT governance protesters and are demanding their unconditional release. In an open letter to President Bola Tinubu, CSOs highlighted the economic hardship faced by Nigerians due to government policies like the removal of fuel subsidies and the floating of the Naira, calling for better governance. The letter condemned the government's response to peaceful protests, including the detention of protesters and excessive use of force by security agencies urging the government to respect the right to peaceful assembly. CSOs also demanded the establishment of a non-partisan framework for civil engagement, transparency in the oil and gas sector, and the implementation of comprehensive social protection policies to alleviate poverty. Our guest this morning is Alfred Ogan, social commentator. Good morning and welcome to the program, Alfred. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Okay. And bad governance, protesters still in custody. That's what we're talking about. So, uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, you see, um, I don't know what uh, how we got here. And um, if you want to talk about a president today and um, in Nigeria, and, in, and, and even in years to come, who should not um, allow such things to happen, that one president uh, is President um, Ahmed Bolat Tunubu. Because we have seen over the years how he, he repeatedly, uh, you know, um, fought uh, and protest, in, in, you know, in, in, in diverse of ways. We saw how he restlessly was always um, um, uh, um, calling out the uh, Jonathan-led administration to, to ensure that they um, are calling people out to, to come out in, in, their, in their numbers and, and, and speak freely to the government. 12 years ago. So, so if, you see, if you see today now, you have this kind of man who, who is now a president of our state, and then we are here today talking about uh, protesters being uh, uh, detained till date. When, when, when we had um, Emilio Kong was talking about hitting the ground running um, uh, at a very first day, for, for some person like me, I was thinking um, he, he was going to, one of the things he was going to do at that time was to ensure that everybody across the state in Nigeria who is in, in, in detention today as regards um, um, protests should be the, the, the first step that he was going to be taking to take them out of, of, of detention. This was what I was expecting that he, he meant by hitting the ground running at the first day. So, and, 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 and aside that, these issues continue. Hunger is in the land, and people came out in numbers to, to, to I mean, to, to vent out their, their grievances, and then uh, you, we, are, we are still talking about people are being detained in his own regime. This is totally unacceptable, and we expect uh, uh, and the president to do better because he is the king of protest. I, in, in, for one, as I'm speaking to you right now, uh, he gave me the boldness. He gave me the boldness um, 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 12 years ago on how I should be able to stand on my right and speak as a Nigerian. Okay, but... I don't know if you... Yes, we, we just saw uh, a few days ago where some people, about four of them or so, were released. These are people who protested during the end, um, NSAS protest. They were just released yeah. about uh, a few days ago. And the allegations were that... Uh, they were not they were not imprisoned or they were not detained just because of uh, protests. There, there were other things that were involved that made them uh, detain these people. Maybe these are also some of the reasons that they are giving for the detention of the people who were involved in bad uh, and bad governance campaign. So how, who should we believe now? Are they just in detention because they protested or they are in detention because of some other criminal activities? This is this are this are this is this is what we have always seen from um, um, th this present um, administration, and then back again to Buhari's administration uh, uh, eight years ago. You see, they, they always have reasons to pin all of these things to, and then the reasons where they have to pin them pin pin matters to uh, protesters is always are always reasons that um, uh, that, that we leave it to us. Uh, the citizen will always say that the government can do better. 
what are the things that these people are crying for? They are crying for the, the simple things that, 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 that the government can provide for them. Why not just create a room and, and, and dialogue with them? Instead of you always um, finding a means to pin one or two reasons to uh, protesters. They came out to protest for their rights. It is their civic rights. And of course, uh, and the, the, what more again can you expect them to do? They, they don't have any other country to go. They have just one country uh, in which they, 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 they can live in uh, freely. And then they are out to talk about all these things. See, the government oftentimes have always have reasons to pin issues to uh, protesters. And we are saying they can do better. We know all these things. We know all these things. They are the reasons are coming out with are they are they are they somehow are created or close to the measures of what people are out for crying about? They are no. The reasons are just very, very they are separate reasons. So for I for once, I was also out for, for, for the protest. And you you and I, I have not engaged myself in protest before, not until um, the, the current uh, president taught me how to uh, to come out vote enough and speak. You need to listen to how um, uh, President Tunubu back then, in, um, uh, 12 years ago, would, would, would speak. You want to come out in the middle of the night and go out to stage a protest. If you listen to him, all these clips are still out there in public domain. We don't expect him at all. Because today, if we talk about democracy, um, if we can't even confidently call uh, President Tunubu as the father of democracy, we, we can... We can, we can, we can and say he's also um, uh, an uncle to democracy. So in his time and his regime as, as we are right now, he has no business at all by allowing any protesters to stay in any detention for, for even a day. Okay. Um, and, uh, sometimes... And keep... Yeah. Sometimes people say that uh, it, is, it, it is a protest... One protest too many, uh, this and bad governance that we had. Every time we're talking protests in Nigeria, there should be other ways to, to make our voices heard. Uh, do you also buy that idea that uh, there is a better way to make our voices heard than uh, protesting? And if you buy that, what is that other way? I don't buy that at all. I don't buy that. I cannot sit here as in Nigeria watching what took place, what, what, what I, I saw. I saw the body heat that, 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 that was given to the Jonathan-led administration 12 years ago. Uh, should we talk about the, the Nollywood actors and the actress, or the Yoruba movie actors and actresses that were out in numbers? In fact, allegedly, some people even went, some people were of the things that they were paid huge, hugely to come out for that protest. I also partake at the, uh, talk, talking about um, 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 Occupy Nigeria 12 years ago. I was also part of that movement. I came out. In fact, for some persons, that was the ground where they had their, 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 their boyfriend and, and, and girlfriend. Some are even married today from that place. It was a very open place. They gave us, gave us a very measured big room for us to air our views. Everybody was out venting at their own uh, um, uh, peace of mind. And, and, and then uh, how, how, how often, I mean, how did we just got here in, in less than 10 years now that um, um, it has now become a crime for Nigerians to gather in hundreds to talk about the issues of the country? What other measures do they want to give us? We have watched them over days. This is the only me measure, according to the, 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 the 1999 constitution, that, that we can come out and, of course, uh, 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 perform our, our civic right as, as, as Nigerians. What other measures do they want? Let the government give us the other measures that they want to talk, they want to give us to. Do, do I have money to, to go and buy airtime uh, uh, in, in national television to, 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 to air my views? We are talking about hungry in the land today. And what happens to dialogue? Is, because everything ends at, at the table. What, what happens to dialogue? They, are they even giving room for it? That's what we are talking about. Are they giving room for it? Before, before the, the end of the government's uh, uh, protest uh, hit, hit, hit the ground running, uh, the people have been talking about it for over one month. Did, 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 you, did you see the government uh, providing measures for them to come and have a dialogue with them? They never did so. Only for, for us to see a few days um, to, to, for, for the kickstart of the, uh, the protest, we only saw where the government uh, came up and, and started doing what I call a bracatabra, as they have always done over the, over the, eight, over the eight years of, of the APC-led um, administration. Hmm. Are they creating room for it? The answer is no.
Are they even ready to create room for dialogue? The answer is no. So the only way we can speak to them is to come out in, in numbers and hit the road where people can come and then ask us questions and we can then be able to uh, 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 free our mind. You see, you cannot continue to um, and state manage all these issues like this. It will, when, you see, what is happening today in Kenya is because of the fact that the people were talking for too long. The government did not give audience. They did not even give room for them to speak. And that is why you see Kenya today have gotten to that level in which they have. And for us, the giants of Africa, for, uh, 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 and for, uh, for Tinubu led administration, our advice, my open letter for him, uh, to him, uh, President Tinubu, is very simple and clear. He should not allow people to swallow words in their belly uh, for, for too long. There are too many swallow words in, in, their, in people's belly. The, early, the, the earlier you allow people to speak out, the better they stay free. If they don't give rooms for people to speak out their mind and air out, uh, their, their grievances to the government, if it gets to the stage where people will not be able to uh, uh, conduct it again, it will turn to disaster. Hmm. But what are the CSOs doing at this point to fight this menace, if I, if I may use the word? Uh, because it's, it's a recurrent decimal, a recurrent uh, problem. Anytime there's a protest, people are whisked away uh, they, with the excuse that they involved themselves in other criminal activities and all that. And then you find out, just like we've, we've found out now that the NLC president that was uh, invited uh, over allegations that uh, he was financing terrorism, they found no evidence uh, to that regard. He was just, just invited and his name painted on the media that he was a terrorism financier and all that. So these things like this keep happening. At the end of the day, you release these people, you find that there was no evidence that they were criminals. It's just because they partook in the, in the protest. In fact, the Polish um, nationals that were that we had arrested have been released right now. There was no evidence that they were they were involved in criminal activities or, any, or anything, but they were just uh, arrested as well. But because they are Polish, because that's what I will say, they have been um, released. The Nigerians who also did the same thing as the Polish people maybe uh, are still in detention. So I don't know what are CSOs doing to make sure that this doesn't continue. They are making movement. That's why you see today now the letter, as I just said, they said it to it, uh, 29th of August, was also been stamped and signed by two different other names. Um, and, and then um, uh, it's been passed down off. They, they, they will get all of these letters and they should not continue to pretend as if they are not seeing all of these things. These measures that they are taking is, it cannot be allowed. We will not allow ourselves to be intimidated in our country. We will always continue to speak. You see, the mistake the government is making is that when you pick up such persons like this, you see, when they go in and they come back, they become stronger. This is what they are failing to understand. They become stronger. They will want to build more bridges because why? They are fighting for what is right. They are fighting for their rights. So you cannot continue to say you want to continue to in intimidate them. The question I'm asking today, and that we, we can't even get uh, to find answers, is how did we got here? How did we got here in less than 10 years of the, the APC, APC uh, led administration? Mm. I, 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 was, I was talking earlier about how movie actors and actresses and celebrities were being paid for, uh, to come out uh, for, 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 the, for the, uh, the occupying Nigerian 12 years ago. And of course, they cannot come out and say no. They cannot defend it now today because when we came out for 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 the the end bad bad bad, bad, bad governance um, uh, protest, how many of them came out? This is to tell you that they were all being paid. Nigerians, we are not fools. We know all of these things. But what was the point? We are saying that even when they were being paid to come out in their numbers, the Jonathan-led administration did not do anything. They, they came out, they still expressed their feelings uh, free of charge and went back again to their house free of charge. They should learn on how Jonathan administration and, and the past government have managed uh, protesters over the years. They can just do better. You don't come by, by, by instigating issues on people. Even if you, you are getting people arrested and then you get there, you don't even have any, any reason to hold them uh, back. Okay. Uh, well, what... 
role can the people play in uh, all this? Because the CSOs are doing what they can do in their own right, but the office of the citizen is a greater office than any office in the land. But it seems as if uh, we're being docile, we don't, we don't act the way we should act and all that. So what do you think can be the contribution of the ordinary uh, Nigerian uh, lending voice to what the CSOs are doing already? You see, the, 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 the what the, 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 the simple Nigerians can do is for them to, um, and we are, that's why we are encouraging them to talk. And you see, I'm here today now with uh, having so much confidence and, uh, and then speaking with so much confidence about all of these things. There is hunger in the land. The people are saying that the policies that the government, uh, the present led administration is doing is too much. You are, you, are, you are borrowing so much of money without no um, 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 open um, um, uh, framework, uh, 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 open framework for people to see uh, your engagement with the, the, the policies you are, you are putting, putting in place. We're talking about the, uh, the fuel uh, uh, subsidy remover that, uh, and, and, and so, so many other issues that uh, the people are complaining about. They are demanding that, look, you should have um, 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 enough of all of these um, imported um, uh, petroleum um, um, refined uh, to be bringing to the country. You will have other um, 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 refineries in, in, in the country. All this money you are pouring over the time, what are you doing with the money? Can't you fix the, 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 the refineries we have in the country? All of these things are the things that people are talking. And they are continuously uh, speaking on a daily basis. I don't know how we, all of a sudden we got here where, where um, the journalists are now afraid to do their job. I don't know how we got here where people, you can no longer hit the bus stop and get to your place of work. Uh, almost everybody has not, uh, uh, have not turned to a beggar. You hit the bus stop now as you are standing to, uh, to, to avoid the bus to where you are going to. If you don't see at all, you see two to three persons will come and, and beg you for money. How did we got here in, in less than 10 years? Hmm. This government can do better. We will continue to uh, continue to speak up. We will not allow them to intimidate us by any means or in any way. We will continue to speak on a daily basis till they will hear and, of course, uh, do what is expected of them. Okay, very valid question. A question that we should end on. How did we get here? Uh, Nigeria was supposed to progress, but instead of progressing, we seem to be going back. But if it's going back, that will help us to reset our, our brains to do better. Maybe so be it. We've started with the national anthem. Uh, we're canvassing for the 1958 constitution to come back instead of the 1999 being uh, improved upon. Mean? Whatever it is that it will take for us to uh, be a better people, well, I'm up for it. Uh, Nigeria used to be a place where uh, um, pipe bond water was running everywhere. Now you have to provide your own borehole, you have to provide your own electricity, you have to provide your own security and all that. It's really disheartening. But there is still hope and uh, there's always hope and we hope that that hope uh, will translate into reality. Thank you very much, Alfred, for being a part of our program this morning. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Alfred Ogan is a social commentator. He's been our guest here talking about uh, what's happening in uh, Nigeria, where protesters are whisked away and put in jail, not just uh, over bad governance, but so many other protests that have happened in Nigeria. Almost every protest that takes a national stage, uh, people are taken into custody in the uh, previous administration and this administration, which is very, very different from what happened in other administrations, especially like the Jonathan administration, where people occupied Nigeria because fuel was moved from 89 Naira to 90 Naira or something like that, below 100 uh, Naira per litre. But here we are now. I hope that we'll get out of this problem very soon. This is where we uh, wrap it up on the show this morning. We'd like to wish you a very wonderful weekend and hope that we'll meet again on Monday on the program. Until then, on behalf of the entire crew of uh, Breakfast uh, on Plus TV Africa, my name is Nyamgu Adgaji. Thank you for being there.